The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Right, we added a new logo to the show, Talk Radio for the Thinking Person. Maybe that will help you understand why I try to make you think rather than react. Now, I was going to do a show today that was going to be Trump-free and Muslim-free. Unfortunately, I cannot make it either. Because I looked at the data, and Barack Hussein Obama, who many say is not only transforming America, but transforming it for the worse, issued 680,000 green cards to migrants from Muslim majority countries just between 09 and 13. Did you hear the number? Now, we don't know how many of their family members have now come in under associated visas. Some are calling this an Islamic invasion based on Obama's proclivities towards such. He is now wanting to bring in, what, 10,000, 100,000, 300,000 Syrian Muslims? How many Syrian Christians has Obama approved for immigration to the United States? How many Muslims has he approved? If you look at the numbers, you'll see what's going on, and you will see what exactly is intended by this administration. That's topic number one. 680,000 Muslims brought to America under Obama from 09 through 13. Some are calling it the Islamic invasion, but it's much higher than that. It is much higher than that. We know that the Muslim population of America is expanding geometrically in the United States, and that's because Obama wants to transform America. What does that mean? He wants to transform it from a what? Judeo-Christian-based nation to a Muslim-based nation? And which Muslim-based nation is he using as a model? Is it Saudi Arabia where they cut the hands off thieves and stone women to death? Is it Turkey where they arrest journalists who disagree with the president of Turkey, with the dictator Erdogan, a good friend of Mark Zuckerberg. We'll talk about that in a minute. So unfortunately for me and you, I cannot avoid the topic of Muslims and the Muslim invasion. Just today they arrested a Somali in Minnesota of conspiring to help ISIS. Another Muslim from Somalia arrested for trying to help ISIS. The police chief of San Francisco, who tried to warn us years ago, about the Somali community, almost lost his job for merely saying that there's a lot of terrorism in this community. We should look at them. They almost threw him out of San Francisco. Liberalism is a mental disorder. Liberalism is a suicidal mental disorder. Most liberals are on medication or illegal drugs. They'll drag the rest of us over the cliff with them. Now you know why Trump is surging. Now I want to go on to Facebook. A Facebook post of mine was removed last night owing to their, quote, community standards. The post was the pictures. It was a picture of the Muslim protesters in London during the uh, cartoon uh, controversy. And some people said that it was uh, hateful to put up the pictures that were there of traditional psychotic throwbacks holding up signs that were just horrible to look at. Facebook said that we have to review the standards. They did not specify which of these standards that the pictures I posted violated. But if you read their standards, you will see that Facebook is a complete dictatorship, and they will throw down anything that violates Mark Zuckerberg's suicidal liberalism. And so I don't know how much longer I will even be on Facebook. I may even eliminate my Facebook page. I'm not going to generate business for that lout. I don't need him. I have a website, michaelsavage.com, which I've used for years. I have a radio show, which I've used for 21 years. I don't need this pimply-faced, undershirt-wearing throwback who is suicidal. You know, I can't stand this topic, and I don't want to say things that will make me angry because I made a decision a while ago. I'm going to try never to get angry on the show again. I don't need anger to make my point. Anger is necessary for those who don't know what else to talk about, so they have righteous indignation. How can you have righteous indignation for three straight hours unless it's staged righteous indignation? There's plenty to be indignant about. No need to get excited about it. 
Sometimes I blow it and I get very angry. It's not good for me and it's not good for you. Topic number two is your topic. The phone number is 855 400 Let's go back to the San Bernardino massacres from last week when two Muslims, a young, innocent, newlywed couple, suddenly were triggered into hating and suddenly found the rifles and made pipe bombs. They made them on the spot with grandma in the house, and they killed so many people. Well, who bought the rifles for them? His name is Enrique Marquez. He's their neighbor. He's a 24-year-old Walmart security guard. He's known to his friends as a shy cycling enthusiast. And he's emerged as a key figure in last week's terror attack at the San Bernardino Social Services Center. Enrique Marquez Jr. purchased two military-style rifles several years ago that Syed Rizwan Farouk and Tashfin Malik used in the terrorist attack to assassinate 14 innocent people, unarmed innocent people, by the way, and wounding many others. Cowards, they're always cowards. So who is Marquez? You may not see this. It takes a while to get to this, but I got to it pretty quick, Lee. Marquez is a Mexican who converted to Islam. Now you know why Trump is rising and why all the others are falling. A Mexican who converted to Islam, who befriended these low-life subhumans, bought them the automatic weapons. He married the sister of Farouk's sister-in-law. It's a sham marriage, of course. It was just to bring her in so Obama can chalk another one up to his list of importees. Marrying the sister of Farouk's sister-in-law, Marquez's relationship with Farouk, blah, blah, blah. They said the uh, marriage is very unusual because they don't live together. She comes from Russia. Marquez married Maria Chernich. Chernich's sister was married to Saeed Rael Farouk, the shooter's older brother. Remember all the shocked relatives? They were stunned that they had been uh, radicalized. They had no idea. Mommy dearest didn't know. Poppy dearest didn't know. Grandma. Grandma playing with the little doll of a sheep didn't know. The women came to the United States separately on J-1 visas. Thank you, Hillary, which allow foreign individuals to enter for work-study cultural exchange programs. According to the federal official who spoke to the L.A. Times on the condition of anonymity, the women came to the United States separately on J-1 visas, which allow foreign individuals to enter for work-study cultural exchange programs. I guess jihad is now considered a work-study cultural exchange program to Obama. No, I would think jihad is a work-study exchange program. That's a cultural exchange program. Come to America and study with jihadis, learning how to hate the infidel, and then learn how to kill infidels. Under Obama, that's a work-study cultural exchange, or else she would have been stopped at the border. Marquez's marriage could strike some people as odd. Marquez did not live with his uh, wife from Russia. Never never lived live with the wife. I guess she was brought in to, uh, for cultural exchange. Anyway, the main part of the story that caught my eye was that Marquez, the man who bought the rifles, is a Mexican who converted to Islam. Have a nice day. 855-400-7282. Here's another little story for those of you who are liberal of bent, meaning bent liberals who are bent. Liberals are all bent. Their minds are bent. Their souls are bent. Their compassion is suicidal. Remember the argument over whether or not to release the vermin in, in Guantanamo? And Obama made that a central calling card of his regime? That the Troika will release all of the vermin in Gitmo when he becomes president? Well, guess what happened? Are you ready? U.S. intelligence said don't release this one, a hardened al-Qaeda fighter. He served as Osama bin Laden's jack-of-all-trades. He spent... Ten years at Gitmo, a military prosecutor said, don't release him. Barack Hussein and St. Obama released him in 2012. He has now popped up in Yemen as one of the terror group's top leaders. Liberalism is a mental disorder. Now, there's another picture that you have to see, which I don't even have the, the strength to put up on my website. It's of a poor woman in Iran 
buried up to her shoulders in sand, being stoned to death. And that's being ordered on Human Rights Day by Barack Obama's friends and Kerry's friends in Iran. And we're told Israel is a, is a racist, fascist nation. Liberalism is a mental disorder. Liberalism will kill us all. Take a look at the picture. Death by stoning ordered on Human Rights Day. Not one word from the perverts at the United Nations. Not a single word from the grifter thieves at the UN of this poor Iranian woman buried up to her neck in sand where the vermin throw ro rocks at her until she's dead. Isn't that wonderful, such an advanced view of religion? Well, it's a cultural thing. It's a, you have to look at it this way. It may not be our style of life, but it's the Iranian style of life. And since cultural equality is something that Obama preaches on a daily basis, stoning a woman like this, well, we, we, may, we may not like it. We may find it repugnant. But it's their cultural prerogative to stone a woman to death on Human Rights Day. They tortured me. Woman raped into confessing husband's murder. Not a word from the fake women's rights movement in America. Anything else I can tell you not to do with Muslims? I'll try very hard. It's kind of very difficult since... The jihadis are at war with us and have been for 1,400 years. Go back as many generations as you can, and you'll find out this, this did not start with the uh, creation of the state of Israel. It started 1,400 years ago, as I point out in the seminal book of our time, Government Zero. Prophecy realized ex gitmo detainee UBLA resurfaces as top commander in Yemen. Oh, here's another one. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. It was going to be a Muslim-free day. Muslim arrested after neighbor flees sword attack. Sorry, didn't mean to do it. San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department arrested a Muslim man on Monday after he allegedly threatened to kill his neighbor with a sword. Mohammed Ahmed al Khai of Victorville, California, allegedly screamed, I die and kill follow who? during an altercation as he ran out with a sword. Uh, I guess there's going to be the sword grabbers are going to come now. Hillary swears that when she's elected, she will eliminate all steak knives, swords, butter knives. I think even knives that cut nothing will be eliminated. Of course, you could eliminate the jihadis that you're bringing in with your insanity, couldn't you? I'm sorry, here comes another one. I tried not to from Fox News. Iranian woman to be stoned to death as world marks human, UN Human Rights Day. Gruesome reality. They buried her up to her shoulders with sand and pelted her with rocks by throwback subhumans. It was first reported on the Persian-language Iranian website, Lahig. The woman was identified only by the initials AKH. It's sickening. It's sickening. You know, Hitler is back, only he's not speaking German. And he's not marching with a swastika on his armband. He is marching to a different drummer. I'll rest my case and be back. Be here. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O. Current subject is still inside the business, 1365 South Waterman. It's in building number three, Hot block the shooter. Have you one suspect so far, black male, sorry, correction, male in black clothing. He's still firing rounds. So we're two more units down to the south side. The shooter's supposed to be in a parking lot. No better description on that location with a machine gun for this RP. Okay, we're overhead. Uh, everybody from the parking lot has been running into the north building on the north side. Security is out in the parking lot. Where are you telling anybody else in the parking lot so far? You're listening to a, live, uh, excuse me, a, a tape broadcast from last week's terror event in San Bernardino. And initially, I told you that they reported three. That was picked up by other radio shows who were taking credit for it. I spent days on this last week. There were three shooters originally reported. It suddenly went down to two shooters. No one knows if there ever was a third shooter or where uh, where he may be if there was one. It's creating an awful lot of conspiracy theories out there, which I can't indulge because I can't confirm that there were three shooters. I do remember the, the, the situation. We're going to play the tapes from that day and see if it comes back up here. You can be a detective with me. Let's take a quick call. A Rich on KSI.